see. Did you see him leave? I didn't. I was talking with the doctor. He left already. He didn't take the news well, I guess. No, he didn't, Cassie. He didn't take it well. He was not happy. You shouldn't have told him. I told you why I had to. You won't die. Jeffrey. No matter what happens, I'm here for you, okay? Thank you. The doctor said you'd be referred to another hospital. Again? Yes. You still think I'm not going to die? I'm awful about everything. You won't die. Why is this happening to me? Why? <laughs> Please stop crying. I don't know why this is happening. My mother is the only person I offended, but she won't do this to me. You called her and she said she would come, didn't she? Yes, she did. This food is sweet. Okay. You're still pissed off, I know. I don't have anything to say on that about my school. I remember. I do. I'll be resuming by next week. You know this is the first time school would resume and I won't have paid my school fees. Things are hard, but you still pay, okay? Okay. Yeah. What do you want to do? I'm done eating. My stomach. Are you okay? My belly hurts. Sorry, let me help you to sit down. Blood. Am I bleeding? Where's the blood? The chair. My... Blood. You've got blood on your clothes, Catherine. My God. My... Mommy, do you need anything? No, did your sister see you before leaving? Yes, she did. She should be home or close to the house. Did she tell you what happened? With Sister Lovett? Yes. Yes, she told me. Surprised that Sister Lovett would do this to Sister. Yes, yes. One needs to be careful. Extremely careful. Yes, Mom. Did she tell you she was going to do anything? Like what? I don't know, something like getting revenge, doing something she shouldn't have done. I wouldn't blame my sister if she did something like that. It's what Sister Lovett did. Shit, up there. Did she tell you anything like that? No, Mom. Did she do something like that? Lovett is in the hospital and I feel your sister had something to do with it. Hey, baby girl, how are you doing? I'm not fine. What happened? Lovett. How is she feeling? How's her body now? Still seeing, she's in the hospital and she's about to be moved to another. What's wrong with her? I don't know. We all don't know. This is bad. I know. I'm even scared and confused like this. I don't know what to do. Don't worry, everything will be fine. Would it? Yes, I believe she'll get well. I've reached out to her parents. She said we shouldn't do that. You should at least, so that they will know what to do about this. I'll talk to her about it again. Okay, it's better that way, so they are aware she's unwell. I'll do that. I miss you, babe. I miss you more, my love. This semester is a short one. Before you know it, I'll be done with school and we'll be together. I can't wait for that to happen. Oh God, please help her be okay. Let her be fine. Son, what happened? Mommy, you're here. What happened? She was bleeding, Mom. Oh my God. Oh my, my grandchild. I know, Mom. Has the doctor seen you? Is she okay? I don't know anything yet, Mom. I'm just here waiting. Oh, God. Please let them both be okay. Amen, Mom. Amen. Catherine, and I saw her this morning. She was fine. She was also fine when we had seen each other this evening, Mom. Then why this? Why blood? Why is she seeing blood now? Why? Why can't I get this off my head? Love it, love it. I have the feeling that this has gotten something to do with me. The medicine I rubbed on her chair. Oh God, why do I feel this way? What am I feeling like this? Who's there? Baby, welcome. Thank you, I wasn't expecting to see you home. Why not? I don't know. Maybe you went to see your mom. Something like that. I was home, right here, waiting for my husband. How are you? How is everything here? Good. How was your trip? I hope everything went well. Yeah, everything went well. That is good to know. Yeah. Did you cook anything? I am hungry. No, I didn't cook anything, but I'll cook your favorite. No, let's order food instead. Should I place the order? Yes, yes. Did you hear what happened? What? Mom? Catherine is in the hospital. She's bleeding. Oh my. The baby. You knew she was pregnant? She told me today. Is the baby okay? I don't know yet. Robert's mom just called me now. Oh my god. And they just found out about the baby. 
You see why you shouldn't commit ab abortion? This is what happened. Mommy. Yes, if she didn't take those drugs she took, then I'm sure she would be okay now. I need to go and check, mom. It's night. We'll go tomorrow, okay? Okay, mom. Stay away from me now. Now look at what is happening to her. I pray she would be able to give birth. I think she took the medicine then. Or is this a natural stuff? Catherine, should I call her? Would she even be able to take calls now? Hey, baby. Yeah, but I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please stop crying. It's not your fault. I'm sorry, mommy. Stop crying, okay? Please stop crying. We will have another baby, I'm sure of that. Yes, we will. How are you feeling? I'm not fine. Why did they have to lose our baby? We just found out. Please stop crying. Oh, is God punishing me for the first baby? Is that it? No, no, don't say that. See, Catherine, stop crying, okay? You will have another baby for me. The next one would be twins. I'm very sure of that. Yes, twins. Just try to relax first, okay? Thank you. My beautiful wife, my darling, everything would be all right. Lovett, I think you should let them know. My mother would be worried if she knows I'm unwell. But it's better that way. Don't you think so? I don't want her to be worried, please. You said this stuff happened to you doesn't feel natural, didn't you? Yes. That's more reason why you need your mom to be able to find out what's wrong. Cassie, my mom would be disappointed in me. But she's your mother and she loves you. So that means she will still want you to survive this no matter what. I've been calling Jeffrey. He's not taking your call, right? No, he's deserted me at this point. Your health is what's most important to me. Your well-being. Jeffrey. <laughs> Oh God, I'm all alone to face this now. I'm here and I'm going to call your mom for you. Cassie, please don't do that. Lobet, you say you feel like you're about to die, didn't you? Yes. That's more reason why you need your mom. You need them to be aware you're sick, so she will know what to do. If anything should happen to you, they will ask me why I didn't tell them you're unwell. Don't hide your plight from your family. <laughs> okay, okay. I have placed the order now. Okay, baby. Amanda. Yes. Have you? Did you do anything to me? I don't understand what you're asking. Did you? Is this about the two women you're going to bring to the house? No. About them. I've decided to accept them, but I ask that you please get us different houses, please, so we won't have to fight or they rob their children on me. I'm not getting married to any other woman. You're not? Yes, I'm not. I'm going to be your only wife. Yes, you alone. Oh baby, thank you, thank you. Amanda, you were right. None of the women had my babies. What? They both weren't even pregnant. They lied to you? Yes, they lied to me. I'm sorry, Jeffrey. I'm really sorry. I can't believe my husband is the one right here next to me. It is just like a dream to me. Am I dreaming? Hmm. Jeffrey is back and the two women lied about their pregnancy. Does this mean that man was right that no one would have a child for my husband but me? Is this true? Hmm. Good morning, baby. Baby. Baby, you're up. Good morning. Is everything okay with you? Yes, yes. What are you thinking about? Nothing. I'm fine. I'm okay. Are you sure nothing is bothering you? Nothing is bothering me. I'm just happy that you're here with me. I see. Well, be happy about it, my darling, okay? And I am not leaving you anymore. That's a promise. Not leaving you. Thank you, my love. Where are you, Rob? Why take so long? Where's the man? He's coming back in the next 30 minutes. I hope he will come back. He will. He's my personal person. He will buy from you. Okay. Where are you? I was in the hospital. Everything okay? Catherine lost the baby. Oh my god, I'm sorry, man. Yeah, that's why I wasn't here. And my boys wouldn't sell at the discounted rate. That's why I wanted to see you. Yeah, I get. I'm sorry about the baby, man. Yeah. How's Catherine feeling? She's much better now. What did she say? He is back home with her. I see. Jeffrey, I'm not disappointed. I deserve all these things happening. I deserve it. <laughs> you deserve good things and not bad things. I need to tell her the truth. You will tell her. I've called your mom and she'll be here by tomorrow morning at most. No wonder they've been calling me. Why aren't you taking their calls? I don't want to talk to them. Oh, Cassie. <laughs> stop crying, love it. Please stop crying. I'm tired of all this. I'm tired already, Cassie. <laughs>
I can't believe you did this, really. I'm acting like the victim here. I'm the victim. I need Robert to pay my fees. He would pay it. Wouldn't he? He ought to pay it. See what being dependent on a man is doing to me. Mm. I've got no money of my own. On normal times, I will have my own money and you know pay. But this time I obeyed him and he's using me to play. He would pay my fees when he feels like paying. We have just two weeks for the portal to be closed. I will tell him about it. He will pay. Am I at the right place? Yes, you are. Martin. Hello, beautiful bride. How are you feeling? I'm fine on you. I'm okay. You came to check on me or see her? I came to check on you. She told me you were admitted in the hospital, and I was like I had to come and check on my sister-in-law. I don't understand sister-in-law. Are you getting married to her sister or what? Aren't you both like sisters? Don't mind her. She gets jealous a lot. Don't mind her. I got you some fruits. Thank you so much, Martin. Thank you. She's sick. I don't want you going to see any sick person. Baby, she's really sick. Something on her bleeding. The answer is no. We are both going to go on a vacation. What do you say? Sounds nice. Just me and you, as we make plans on what we will do together. Okay, sounds fun. Yeah, it does. So tell me, where would you love to travel to? Anywhere you would like us to go is fine with me. I want you to make the decision. Make your choice. Oh God, please keep my husband from me. Make him to keep loving and loving me more. I can't believe all this is happening. <laughs> Lovet, I wish you quick recovery because I can't go and see you. I need to obey my husband and build my home back as it ought to be. Look at how she keeps calling me non-stop, but she's forgotten when she was sleeping with my husband trying to take him from me and now it no 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 i won't go and see her let her suffer a bit before she gets better i need to call mom and tell her this i know she won't believe it she would be shocked <laughs> hello mommy you won't believe what i'm about to tell you now Baby, I can't remember the last time we had this. I became too serious and angry about so many things. I understand. And I am truly sorry, B, for how I treated you. We're here for fun, nothing more or less. Okay. I love you, Jeffrey, and I'm happy we're back like we used to be. I am happy about it as well. Okay. Has your friend still called again? She keeps calling, but I am no longer picking her call. Okay. Maybe when we are back home, I'll check on her. Let's talk about it here and forget about everyone else. Okay. So where and where did we say we are going today? King, I've got to thank you for all these customers you're bringing to me. My friend is the one who's making all this happen. Martin? Yeah, he connected me with some people and they've been really good man. Buying this and that and then referring others. Wow. Yeah, how's Catherine? She's fine. She's at home. Discharged. And I wanted to go and pay her a visit. You can still do that while she's at home. I'll do that. Maybe on Sunday when you're home. I'm not home on Sunday. I'm looking for this money. One can't afford to be lazy at all. Still, your wife needs you at home. Someone that knows only how to make demands and demands. Do you know how much I've spent in just these days? You're calculating this one as well. Man has got to calculate all the time. Not in this case. I mean, she lost the baby. Because of her actions. But I don't want to get mad or talk about all of that. Robert, calm down. I am calm. Let's talk about something else, please. Don't mind Robert leaving. No problem at all, ma. And on your school, don't worry, he would pay, okay? He is, ma. And don't take any drugs that the doctor didn't prescribe for you, Catherine. Yes, ma. You know one of the reasons why you lost the baby is because of the last abortion you had. But I'm not going to talk or emphasize on that. I'm sorry, ma. I know. We've got to all learn the hard way at times. And that's what's happening here. But you will have my baby for me. I'm sure of that. Yes, I will. I have a meeting to attend today. I won't be able to stay with you. I'm fine, ma. I'm okay already. But I will come and check you much later. Thank you, ma. I better get going. And please, if you feel any discomfort, call me. Yes, ma. The way Robert has been acting towards me. I know he's angry about the baby we lost and he's blaming me. I hope he won't say he will not give me my school fees because of what happened. This shouldn't happen, no. What do I do? Martin, Martin, baby, surprise, good morning my love, good morning, what are you doing here, is that what I get after coming all the way here, 
I'm surprised, that's just it. Okay, surprised. So you won't let me? No, I won't. Really? You've got someone inside? Why don't you come inside and find out who I've got inside? Where is it? Why can't I find it? Oh God, what's all this? I'm so sure I kept the money here, under the bed. I know I can't even find it. Does the money have legs that it will walk away? It doesn't. Catherine, did she take the money? No, there's no way she will check under the bed. No, she won't. Even at that, it was inside a box. Good morning, baby. Good morning. How was the nice? I hope you slept well. Yeah, yeah. Is everything okay? No, yes. What's wrong? Did you buy? Did you? Oh, God. What happened? Talk to me. Did you by any chance find any money around the house? Like how much? Does the amount matter? Did you see any money around or not? So you didn't bring your lover today? No, I didn't do that. So you even have another lover? I don't have anyone but you. I've told you this and I mean it. You can come here at any time you like. Like any time. I'm not scared. I've heard you. Why should I be looking outside when I've got such an amazing lover? It's okay. I went to an amazing lover. I'm not going to respond to that. How is Lovette's body? She's gone home. Oh, thank God. Finally, at least they will be able to take care of her. Yes, I'm tired and stressed out. That's why I said I should come by and spend some days with you here before I go back. That's sweet. You need to rest. You've been a great friend to her. If it's others, they won't think twice before leaving her. Lovette is a great person. I know, but not everyone will stand by her like you did. I just want to hear that she's okay. You'll hear that soon. She'll be fine. So what do I make for you? Just carry me to the bedroom and give me some fit massage. That's what I want. I'm at your service, my love. I didn't see your money. Then how did the money disappear? How? I don't know. This money was here in this room. Robert, are you saying I took the money? Is that what you are saying? Who else is in this room with us? I didn't even know about the money. Last I checked, you told me that you didn't have money. Sales have been poor. Isn't that what you said? Catherine. So how come you now have money in this house? It's not my money. My friend's money. Your friend's money, really? Yes. How much is it? Catherine, you're asking me the wrong question. I don't know where the money is. I'm not even aware that there is money in this house. I don't know where your money is, Robert. How did the money disappear? It can't work. Maybe you don't know where you kept it. But I didn't see any money. Today is going to be fun. Really fun. Martin's birthday is tomorrow. What do I even get him? What would he like? We would hang out. Catherine should be able to come. Hey, baby. Hilda, let me guess you are getting ready. Yes, I'll soon be done. I should be with you soon. You would have to cancel. What? Baby, I'm very sorry. Something just came up. Martin. Something important, believe me. I've got to be in a meeting as we speak. You are counseling on me. I'm not doing this. I can send you a video of myself now. I'm driving out of town. Out of town? Yes, I don't want to lose my job, so I've got to be there. So, we are not seeing each other today? I'll make it up to you, I promise. What about your birthday tomorrow? We'll celebrate together once I'm back, I promise you. I don't like this. I don't like it as well. I'll call you once I get there. We can even have a video call so I can prove to you that I'm not lying. I know you're not lying. It's just annoying and I'm all dressed up. Send me a picture. No, I'm not. Bye bye. You are pissed off with me, but well, this is beyond me. If I lose my job, how can I be able to take care of you and buy you all these fancy things you need? Home sweet home. Everywhere looks same like we left it. Call the cleaners to come over. I'll do that. I need to go and prepare. Okay, baby. Oh God, thank you. Please let us continue this way. Please, please. Baby, baby. What's this? What? Oh my! Where do I now keep this money? Where? Baby, I've made you breakfast. I'm not hungry. You should try to eat, please. I am not hungry. Leave me alone. Okay, okay. Are you sure you didn't take my money? I didn't. Why do you keep accusing me of taking your money? We are the only two people in this house. You didn't keep your money in my care, did you? Catherine. I don't have time for all this. I'm going to school. School? Yes, and my school fees. I'm not paying it. You won't pay for it. Yes, you heard me. I will not pay it. No problem. Oh God, where is this money? If she didn't take it, then who took it? Where's Martin? Baby, baby. 
We are up already. You were cooking? Yes, made something small for you to eat. You seem really stressed and tired. I'm tired, Martin. Really tired. Sorry about that. I don't like my baby to be stressed out. I don't like being stressed as well, if not for love it. Have you heard from her? Last we spoke, she's recovering gradually. Wishing her quick recovery. Amen. So how would we celebrate your birthday tomorrow? You came for my birthday as well. Yes, I did. I was hoping this is the year you popped the question. What question? You want me to say everything? We are not getting married now, Cassie. I will do that by my own terms. Your terms? Yes, I need to get a good drink, like honorable. You're not serious. I'm very serious here, and until I get one that matches with his, I'm not going to propose. Martin, that ring is worth millions of dollars. I'll get a ring worth billions of dollars then. So he's chatting with other women. He even wants to see them. Wow, I don't even know how I feel now. You're done showering. Yes, I am. Baby, won't you also shower? I will soon. So you're leaving when? Tonight? Tonight? Yes, I need to be there early and I can't be late. I'll go over to my mom and see her then. Okay then, no problem. But be back in a week time maximum. I will, even before then. Okay then, go and shower and come and cook for me. I am craving for your food. At your service, my lord. Good morning, Hilda. Catherine. Good morning. I didn't expect you will be in school by now. I know. Martin cancelled on me. What happened? Work and work. He had to attend a meeting. That's how it is at times. Sorry about that. You're looking beautiful by the way. All this makeup was for him. He will make it up to you. So what about tomorrow's birthday surprise? That's if he's back. That's true. Soon all this would be over once you are both done with school. Yeah, yeah. How far with your school fees? Robert said he's not going to pay. Are you for real? He said that. Yes, he did. Can you imagine? But I've already paid it. You got the money. How? I took Robert's money and paid for my school fees. Is everything okay? Ken, when did you come? About 30 minutes ago. I've been eating though. I didn't even know you were around. Catherine must have forgotten. She didn't tell me. Where is she? She left for school already. I am looking for my money, Ken. Which one? The one I told you I've been saving up to set up a new shop. Have you looked around? I have looked at everywhere, man. And? Nothing at all. Like I didn't find it. I think she took it. Catherine? Yes? Man, calm down and check very well. Don't accuse your wife of something you might find. Does she even know about the money? No, she doesn't. More reasons why she can take the money. Search again. I always keep the money inside the box, under the bed. See, she took it. Robert, search again. I took his money and paid for my fees. Catherine. I still have the rest with me. You will help me keep it in your account. How much is the money? I'm left with 1.4 million. A what? Million? I'm telling you. And he will be telling me he doesn't have money. Sales are poor. Meanwhile, he has this much at home and he didn't give me. Do you know how we have been eating lately? Like no meat on the food. You don't mean it. I'm not lying to you now. Come and visit me one of these days. And he told me he doesn't have money for my school fees. I should improvise or suspend it the next session. Robert! Trust me now. I didn't even argue with him. I was thinking of how to get money when something told me to search the whole house. Hilda, I saw money and I packed everything. I can't believe he has that much and refused to pay your fees. Imagine if I was pregnant now. I'm sure he would say I should not go to school again. Focus on making babies for him. That's true. As he was looking for the money today, I did as if I didn't know anything. I told him to tell me the amount. He can't. He said it's not his money. What's my business? <laughs> Heal this, my friend. Even when I go home later, I will be looking at him like this. I don't know anything about any money. It's not here. I told you, Ken. Wow. She took my money. How much is it? About 1.6 million. You kept that much here? Yes, I did. It was much easier for me to save it physically. You took a big risk, man. I mean, what? I didn't think she would see it. What will she use such an amount of money for? Clothes? Can you imagine? What if she didn't take it? Who then took it? Who? Think about it. I don't know, but my advice is to tread carefully before accusing her. Take your time to check well, man. Maybe it's somewhere else. I know where I kept it. Why won't you believe me? Hello, Hilda. Good evening. Good evening, King. How are you doing? And how is your lectures? I'm fine. Lectures are slow. And to think the exams are fast approaching. It's everywhere. The lectures are slow. Yeah. 
What of Martin? I know you both must have enjoyed the day together. Martin. And tomorrow being his birthday, you've got something planned, right? Nothing. Why not? He... You should plan something. Haven't you guys seen today already? No, we haven't. He's at home then. You spoke to him? Yeah, we spoke. He's home. Maybe he's back from his trip then. And he didn't think to call me. I don't know about the day trip. Let me head home, Kim. I might check him. I don't know, maybe. Have a good night. Catherine will definitely produce my money. She's the one who took it. I'm just so sure of it. Who else is in this house with me? Who? Good evening, baby. Where are you coming from? School. By this time? We had four lectures. You know the exams are coming soon. Lectures? Yes, you are still angry. My money. Why are you asking me about this money? Why? Because we are the only ones in this house, me and you. I didn't even know you have money with you. Don't make me get mad at you, Catherine. Provide my money. Robert, you think I stole your money? You took it. I know you took it. So return it. Pick up. Where did you keep your phone? Did he really travel like she said? Hey man, what's up? I'm good, are you? I'm fine. You didn't see me in school, right? Yeah, where are you? I'm home. Cassie came around. Cassie, say hello to her for me. I will do that. Hope I didn't miss much in school today. No, you didn't miss much. I think you should step out of the house for a moment. Why? I ran into Hilda and told her you were home. Why would you say that? I didn't know you were with Cassie. We were talking. I told her I traveled. I know she mentioned it, but I think she will stop by the house. So I advise you leave the house now before she comes. Thanks for the heads up. I'll see you in two days time. You are celebrating your birthday with her. Something simple and lovely. Be careful out there. I need to watch my big mouth and know what I see. Baby, what are you doing? Just ordering something online. New clothes? Because I know how you can be about clothes. Can Not clothes. Can we go out? To where? A hotel. Stay there to celebrate my birthday, you know. Sounds like a great idea. We'll leave tomorrow morning. No, let's leave tonight. Now. Why to rush? This is how I want to have my birthday. That's why. Okay. So? Let me put on something nice and then we'll go. You don't need to change. I love what you are putting on. It's perfect. Let's go. I need to take my bag. No, we are leaving now. If we need anything, we buy it. It's my birthday wish. Fine, let's go. Doesn't look like he's home, but who knows? Martin, are you home? He's not home. Everywhere looks dark. I guess he didn't tell Kim he would be traveling, that's why. He hasn't even called me. The meeting must be really intense. I just hope he won't end up being like Uncle Jeffrey, who is always busy, traveling here and there. I don't want that kind of husband. But unlike my sister, I'll be busy. So busy with work. I won't feel his absence that much. His number is switched off. Hmm. Let me go. He would call me by himself. I didn't take your money. Catherine. Catherine. I didn't take it. See, I can be anything, but far from a thief. I don't even know how much is the money. And to think you had money all along, but didn't give me to pay for my school. Is that why you took it? Tell me. I didn't take it. I'm going to give you 10 minutes to do what's right. I am not with your money, Robert. I'm not with it. Catherine. Robert, I'm not a thief. What's going on here? Mommy, thank God you're finally here. Don't tell me you already started laying accusations. She's with my money, mom. Tell her to give me. Why is he calling me a thief? She's with my money, mom. She took the money. I didn't take your money. Can you both stop this? Stop this now. You're calling me a thief. Have I ever taken any of your things? Ever since we've been together, have I taken anything from you? Have I? I will not be fooled by your tears. No, I won't, Catherine. My money. I'm here and you two are still going on and on, acting like you can't see me here. I'm sorry, ma. I need my money, that's it. Hiding? What do you think I'm hiding? I don't want us to celebrate at home. That's it. Nothing like that, Cassie. I didn't make any plans. You don't trust me. Cassie. Fine, okay. I've got nothing to hide. Why am I feeling this way? My belly aches me and my body as well. This was the same way I'd felt that time when I got pregnant. Oh God, please oh. Hilda, where are you? 
Sister, good evening, ma. I didn't know you were around. When did you get home? Few moments ago. I didn't even see mom at home. She went to get something. This late? Yes, but she'll be back soon. I saw your pictures and videos. I'm happy you and uncle are back. Thank you. Mom keeps asking me if you did anything to Auntie Lovett. Did you? Why would I? Our neighbor told us she's done the shadow of herself. She's still bleeding. Up till now? Yes. She even showed us a picture. It's heartbreaking. Wow. She's the one calling. Pick up and hear what she's got to say. She wants to see me, but I don't want to. I know she wants to apologize to me, but I am scared of going to see her. Why are you scared? She didn't do anything to her. I pray she gets better soon. I'm going to my room. Did you take the money, Catherine? No, I didn't. You heard her. She didn't take it. Mommy, we are the only ones in this house. Just two of us. How did the money disappear? I don't know, but your wife here doesn't even know about the money. Mm, she found the money. I'm sure she did. He told me he doesn't have money and now he's telling me I took his money, calling me a thief and telling me he won't pay my school fees. She can forget about school because I'm not paying. Mommy, can you hear him? He will pay the money. I don't have the money. There's no way I can pay it. You will pay it. You promised to support her. My business money, mom. The money isn't even my own money. Oh, God. You will find it. Search more carefully. But Catherine here isn't a thief. I'm very sure of that. If she's not been stealing from you all along, I don't believe she would do that now. So my 1.5 is gone. What? 1.5? You have that much with you. I was saving. It wasn't mine. Robert. You're a wicked soul. Cassie, she's going to plan something for me. Where is my phone? I knew Hilda must have tried to reach out to me already. She would be mad. Oh God, please, don't let her come here, please. I need to come up with something so that we can live here. Yesterday was so, so close. Aww. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Martin. Happy birthday to you. Thank you both. This is amazing. I'm blushing here. Happy birthday, love. I hope this year brings you everything you wish for. Happy birthday, man. So we have an awesome day planned for you. So I hope you are ready. Oh, really? What have you guys planned? It's a surprise. I can't tell you. Find that eventually. Yeah, totally supported. That sounds perfect. You guys really know me well. I'm game for all this. Totally game for everything that comes with today. So when are we starting? Right away, after we put take our bits. I'll be waiting here. Please don't take too long, guys. You won't trust me. Don't trust her. Help yourself to some drinks in the fridge. Yeah, and some food as well. This thing should have a solution, definitely. One week. Good morning, ma. I'm sorry for taking long. I had something I had to do. How are you? I'm fine, ma. And you? I'm fine too. How is your husband? He's fine. I can see the smile on your face. That shows everything is fine at home. Yes, ma. You see? Tell me you are not glad you did what you did. Ma, about that, there's kind of a trouble. What happened? She's still bleeding. Up till now? Yes, ma. Up till now. She's bleeding. She ought to stop bleeding by now unless something else happened to her. This doesn't have anything to do with what we did. No, it doesn't, Amanda. I told you it was to stop after five days. This doesn't have anything to do with what we did. Is it worth making her bleed? What I did? No, it can't be. It's got to be something else. Good morning. Good morning. How was the night? My money, Catherine. You still believe I took your money, really? Yes, you took my money, Catherine. I didn't take your money, Robert. You had 1.5 million and you couldn't even give me 200,000 to sort out my school. So you took my money for yourself? I didn't do that. I'm not paying for your school fees. No problem. No problem, right? Yes, I will raise the money. We still have time to pay. Or you think because you're not going to pay my school fees, I will drop out of school? You took my money. You took it. I didn't take your money. Yes, you took my money, Catherine. That explains all this. Robert, I really don't want to fight or argue with you, okay? Just let me be. I'm going to school. You can stay here searching for your money. Hopefully, you will find it because I didn't take it. And I don't care what you say. If you use my money for your school, you will fail. I didn't take your money. How did yesterday go? I don't think she came over. But I know she's calling me. But I switched off my phone. There's no way she won't find out you're lying to her all along, man. I will find my way around it all. Don't you trust me? 
You should be careful with all this. You will create a distraction when we are at wherever we are, so I can make the call. No, I won't. You've got to help me. I'll help you, but telling you to let go of her and focus on the woman you've got here. Focus on Cassie. She's the one you love, so stay with her, man. I don't need your advice. Help me out. I'm sorry for taking long. You look take away, my love. <laughs> Take me away then. I also need someone by my side. You're still single, so I had. Or have you gotten someone? Let's go before you both rub my singleness on my face. Is it not the medicine? No, it's not. Be relaxed, okay? Calm down. It's you that calling. I'll call her back later. I hope you didn't tell anyone. It's my mom. Let me take it. Hello, mom. What? What she's doing at your place? Okay, I'll be coming soon. Everything, okay? Lovette is at my house. What's she doing there? I don't know. Seeking forgiveness, I guess. Don't mention anything on what we did. Don't do that. I will not do that, ma'am. Don't worry. You helped me. I don't take it for granted. And you've got nothing to do with what's wrong with her. Okay, ma. I have to go now. Take care of yourself and don't feel guilty about anything. Thank you, ma. With the way they are talking, it's likely sister did something to her, but she deserves it with the way she acted. She actually deserves it. Catherine, what's the family meeting going on in the living room? Something on my sister. That's her friend that cheated with Uncle Jeffrey. The one on the wheelchair? Yes. She came to seek forgiveness? Yes. Let's go to school so I can just do everything. I ought to call Martin first. Today is his birthday, but his phone is switched off. On his birthday, and he's also not around. Hard to go to work. Everything about him is suspicious, like everything. I know. It's suspicious, really. Just be careful with him. I know you're already in love. I'm not in love with him. Keep lying to yourself. You're in love with him and I know it as much as you do. It's just that he's always disappearing when something is about to happen. The holidays and now his birthday. I know. You're looking further to me. You want to pay back what I did to you, right? <laughs> Have you sent the money? It's cash. I think it's when since school and we beat at home. You're not going to return a bit. Nothing at all. I will use the money to sponsor myself through school. Amanda! Robert, I was planning on calling you. So you're in town and you didn't let me know? It's not so, I'm sorry. See, I was going to call you before I left your mom's place. But I have an emergency at home. Is everything fine? Yes. Let me not keep you then. We'll talk on phone. Okay then, do take care. Stop staring at her. She's married. I wasn't staring, mom. I saw you staring, son. You like her? What? No, mom. She's a married woman. You can like a married woman, it's not new, but I would advise against it. That's not why I'm here, mom. What happened? She took my money, mom. I just know it. She's with my money. This place is amazing. How is it possible I have not been here before now? Do you think you know everywhere here because you stay here? You are right. Well, the food is tasty. Thank you both for making this day so special. You deserve it, man. We are just glad you're having a great time. I want it today to be perfect for you. And that's not all. There's still another surprise. You want to blow me off my feet, right? I do. Well, before that, Cassie, there is something I've been wanting to ask you. Martin, what is it? Oh my god. Martin. Cassie, you make every day brighter for me. I can't imagine my life without you. For you've been a blessing to me. So please, will you marry me? <laughs> yes, I'll marry you. Congratulations guys, congratulations.